Okay, so all this stuff going on right now. Yeah. The biggest thing that I hear from people, because um, there's two camps of people. One is I want to be as informed as possible. I want to have all the frontline information. And the other camp of people is like, damn, I can't go anywhere without hearing about this. And it gives me anxiety because I feel like there's no safe place, like a normal to return to. Yeah. And like even their favorite shows, their favorite podcasts, their favorite everything is talking about it because it's really hard not to talk about it. And I get it because like we're here right now and like you probably tune into JK all the time and like we talk about it. Um, but for a lot of people, they're like, I wish there was just like one of my favorite things that just like focused on like regular life, like was just like back, like everything is normal, like back to regular business, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking about that a lot because I'm like, yeah, I guess for me, I haven't been getting a lot of anxiety because one, I already work from home. Two, I already have a lot of hobbies that I do alone. So I, I, I have a safe space, like a normal, where I'm like, oh, I have a closet full of crafts that I do. You've already that, been living the quarantine life. Yeah, yeah, so it doesn't feel that off to me. Like my yeah. schedule and my life doesn't feel very rocked, but there are a lot of people who have never worked from home like they're they're like this is completely off of my normal routine yeah. and like their whole worlds are completely shifted and so I was just trying to I was it may open my eyes up to like that not everybody is just like carrying on as usual obviously and I was wondering like what do you guys do like what's your like one routine item or normal thing that you keep doing that kind of grounds you. I have a really big thing, because I saw this in a tweet, and I think that this, like, as much as I hate Twitter, like, I fucking hate Twitter, I hate that site, but I saw, <laughs> I saw this I just saw this one particular Delete tweet. Delete your account, man. I need it, I need it, though. <laughs> it fuels the hate. <laughs> oh, okay, good. But I saw this one tweet that was really important because when I first started freelancing, like, almost, like, practically, like, in college, and I was, I started freelancing and stuff, I didn't understand, like, because at first you're like, oh, I get to work from home, this is fucking dope, mm -hmm. and then you, just stay in your pajamas and you just like roll out of bed at whatever time in the like, of the day and then you just like, you know, it's kind of like slide in the computer, you like check Facebook and all that stuff and then you're like, I guess I'll get around to working on stuff and then you do all that sort of stuff. Six and hours it, later. It really wears on you though because you don't have that separation too and for me, mm. my computer like is in my room too. Like mm. I have my room and my work kind of area on one side of my bed and so I'm like laying in my bed and I can see my computer mm. and I can see my work and so I think it's really important for all you people that have never worked from home before still set like a routine, like still wake up at the same time that you, or, or like roughly the same time that you would be going to work. Like don't wake up like five hours later, like wake up in roughly the same time, still get dressed, still clean yourself up, still like do all the normal like things, like definitely I change too. To work. Yeah, because that gets you into the oh, mind of like, clothes. yeah, get change your clothes, super, super important. As mm -hmm. comfortable as PJs are, like change into something like, you know, that you would, you know, be going to work in, or at least presentable Pants that you would go similar to PJs. Yeah, something oh, like that. Tight. that look but, but not that you sleep in, but not that you sleep mm -hmm. in. And then, yeah. then do your work, and then when you take your shower, you change into your PJs again, you can turn off, and then you can do whatever the hell else you would usually do after you got home from work. Super and that's separation. Yeah, super separation important. is super important. I didn't understand that. I got super depressed and super burnt out because I uh, didn't understand that mm. for like a couple years until I figured out like, oh, this is like how a healthy person like works from home and stuff. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cause yeah, even though it's like it's very convenient when you freelance and mm -hmm. you work from home, it's still really important to compartmentalize yeah. like your life. I think for mm -hmm. me, it wasn't so much um, like the work and life balance. I think for uh, for me and Gio, like our biggest like I guess hardship in our relationship was the bits and comedy part. Mm -hmm. So it was almost like we were castmates, mm -hmm. and then at home castmates. Yeah, mm. like the characters didn't turn So off. there's no more like, yeah, you're vlogging at home. Yeah, and there's no romance. It's just constantly castmates, castmates, castmates. And then so we, we, that was like something that was really hard for us to deal with. But then and, and, uh, speaking what Nikki's talking about, I think the one thing that brings me back to normalcy is the working out in the morning. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I went to the gym and I just grabbed a couple pieces of equipment. Like we all, all the gym staff was like, well, no one's going to be using this because gyms are shut down in LA. So we all just took a couple pieces of equipment to go home so we don't like lose our gains or whatever. And so I think being able to just work out in the morning and kind of like get out like what me and Joe call our wiggles, kind of, mm. you know, just like mm -hmm. train your ass off a little bit. Then I can go back to, to the day and it just helps me like calm the anxiety and everything down. Even though like I'm not a very anxious person, it just helps. It take, grounds like, a, you, yeah, it, grounds it centers you. It takes, you. That, takes that edge off. Find, find your center. Since I found working out, I need it more. Yeah. Like I used to need it back in my 20s because I used to work out all the time in my 20s, but I lost that when I got sad for a while. And getting back to that, like needing to work out, it feels so good. Yeah, yeah. it does. I love it. Yeah. That's true. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm like, what have I done differently? 
I think after you were talking about all that, Ryan, I'm like, you know what? Maybe that's why over the years I've been feeling even more and more like, even though like different aspects of my, my life, I do feel good and like better than I did before. But overall, I still have like this consistent, like flat line mm -hmm. feeling of yeah. like, I don't know what to do with my life. Right. I don't know what to do with my day. I'm like, okay, well, there's things I should do there, but everything just feels like, bleh, you right. know, mm -hmm. nothing yeah. feels like goals. Yes. Check marks off because of Because you list. can't also have like goals all the time. Like you can't constantly be that person where it's like, I need to accomplish everything all the time. Like some people you can? are, oh, I don't know. I can't, I can't, I personally can't. You know, like I need to, I need to have a time to like do that because otherwise like I'm just constantly stressed out about all the things. And I, I feel guilty too. Like sometimes yes. I'll be trying to play video games or something. And then th this is the, I've recently got back into video games because I've nothing else to do. <laughs> and so a lot before. of people have Steam just fucking yeah. went nuts. Yeah, dude. You hear that? Steam and Blizzard fucking all the accounts or all the like servers keep on like Shutting off because there's too many people accessing them at once. Blizzards are crazy, yeah. man. Blizzards. <laughs> See, he Bart knows he's a gamer. <laughs> it's a storm of internet. Yeah. But yeah, it's like I would feel guilty playing a game for 30 minutes when before in like high school and I had nothing else to do aside from homework and stuff. I would like play for like five hours and I'd not feel like a thing. I felt accomplished after. Yeah, because you beat the levels. Exactly. Like, yeah. But I didn't feel that once I had work to do. But now that I've like. Had, don't have like a whole lot of extra stuff to or places to go things to do I'm like oh I can enjoy video games again mm -hmm. like stuff like that is like separating it all out That's another thing too. I think I tend to get myself like right now with the whole house situation like I'm trying to fit, Like every day. It's like little jobs here and there It's like oh we, we got to make sure we get this done or we got to make sure we get that done And then once they get done, I'm like oh that feels good But then for some reason I constantly have like this guilt of like I didn't do enough or I get overwhelmed with like how much I have to do and I'm like right uh, to just fuck today. I'm just gonna be in bed all day because it's just too overwhelming and like I don't know I don't know how to manage I think maybe my it's emotions. your expectations too because I feel like you've been telling me like like if we're moving We're gonna do all the the construction and hiring contractors to come and do this and do that We're gonna selling we're selling that piece on this piece buying this piece buying that piece These are, these are all, all like at goals once. I say but yeah. they don't get done And you're like, you say things like if, if I don't do it as soon as we move in I'll never get it done yeah. and we're gonna live here for the next 10 years and that's not gonna be done and I feel like that expectation of you yeah, needing to do it all at it once hard. is very overwhelming. That's true. So I think you just embrace the fact that it's gonna take time to get everything done. Yeah. Yeah, that's been a hard thing to balance for me too, because like I, I can easily slip into lazy mode, and so I think I developed this like crazy schedule and and like planning so that I don't slip into that because once I'm there, it could take a while to like get out of and. Um, and then, but now, because I've been doing this mode for so many years of like, can't stop working, can't stop working, or else I will like, Fall apart. fail. <laughs> yeah, um, I realized, yeah, I had like crazy gut problems and stress problems, and stress causes so much uh, physical health repercussions than I, than I ever, ever knew. It, 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 it affects your mental health, it affects your physical health, it affects so much that I had no idea about. So now it's been interesting trying to incorporate me time, like free time, time, nothing time, mm -hmm. where it's like you can't do any, no work. Um, I still sometimes feel like I have to earn it, where I'm like, okay, if you work for three hours straight, then you earn a one hour break, and then you gotta work for five hours straight, what do you and do then during you your earn... break? Now I'm curious. Oh, I meditate, oh. I go for a walk. Oh, awesome. um, Doesn't TikTok now? Going for a walk actually has been something that I, I need. Uh, TikTok is not, that's, uh, that's, Work. It's like work research. Time. Work it's time. a more to toxic thing. Yeah, it's more. Work. Work. You can get sucked into it. Work. Yeah, uh, but we're going on a walk. It gives you endorphins and like it. Um, it I, I find like I get my best ideas when I'm on a walk. Like it just gets you into that flow state where you're completely present. And <gasps> that's that's something new. Like not because you're talking about doing something that makes you feel like it's normal times. Yeah. But for me. I mean, I guess that still counts. Cause Isaac and I, like the three of us, we've been bike riding around our new community. Yeah. And it's been like so calming. And like my thighs are sore where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna but go the work good out. Sore. Yeah. yeah. And then like, I'm like, this is what normal people do. I would never do. And it took all of this to yeah. happen for me to be like, yeah, let's go outdoors. <laughs> like, let's go and ride a bike. That's been nice. Yeah. How are you? Uh, for me, I don't know. I feel like something that helps keep me grounded even without all the shit that's happening, I think it's always been cooking. Like just oh, yeah. making food, having groceries, and like kind of just having me time. Because like when I cook, I don't, I do it by myself. I don't talk to anyone. 
I'm not a, I'm not a talky kind of person. I don't need to like get words out all the time. I can just kind of sit there with my own thoughts and just just do something and, and you just need to like that. tinker with something. Yeah, and like cooking is that for me. I like to smell like the the results of it, and it gets to like kind it's of like a reward it. at the end. Yeah. yeah, and so like and and so in this time, it's like it's even more important. I feel like to like make sure I have groceries and and be, to be able to do that and like and by doing that, you're not necessarily needing to go on Twitter and remind yourself yeah, of all, the, all the stress. I think you're not anytime going I'm outside. creating something, which cooking is, yeah, that, you know, where like you have your you're kind of zoned into it for a little bit at the end you see like a visible result thing yeah I, I like that creative process yeah I would love to feel that way about cooking but I always feel like it needs hot sauce so it's like what's the point of cooking yeah. let's just yeah. cook something spicy to why don't you just cook yeah. only Indian food listen if I could fucking cook it I would all of his food turns into Tabasco soup <laughs> Look, I make very, I would make forte. chicken tikka masala every single day oh, that good. or that or any kind of Thai food Thai yeah. food is my favorite I think so but I just don't think I can do it very well. I think you can. I think you can. So it's about like following directions and just like practice. I'm so bad at directions and measurement. Practice, practice and messing up. That's the thing yeah, that I didn't understand. I mess understand up all the time. I still, I still, I made something super salty the super other day. Salt, like two days in a row. And yeah, I'm like, and I was like you need uh -huh. to try again tomorrow. Oh, what an <laughs> asshole, huh? <laughs> no, but I'm saying. Like whatever he made, probably better than anything I can make. I guarantee it. That's for true. That's just a whole bunch. Oh, you're right. So that's why I use hot sauce. So, but then I like the hot sauce. It, I think that I get dopamine from hot sauce. Like I think you it probably do. Stimulates that's the what fire. grounds you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. The like, answer to your question to stay grounded is to find your version, your healthy version of dopamine. Yeah. Like getting yeah. that, getting yeah. that. Kick hey, what Nikki like, described earlier of me on Skype with my bud and we're. Right in the movie, that's my dopamine. Like just getting to fucking yeah. play. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like to play. That, that's yeah, my whole too. thing. And, and so yeah, being in the room with my boys and getting to fuck around, that's my shit, man. So yeah, and, and then holding yourself accountable to that too, where you're like, well, technically this is my job. Yeah. This is what and I do. And you create something at the and, end and of yeah, it. Yeah. So so then like you know, let's play a little. It bit. brings you joy, and then you create something. Exactly. So. So hopefully, and, and by the way, those of you watching this right now, you're like, well, I don't do that yet. Well, now's a good time. Yeah. yeah. Perfect time. It's the most productive time maybe of your life that you'll ever True. get. So <laughs> it's time to fucking do it. You might even just get sent money in the mail, thousands of dollars perhaps, perhaps a thousand dollars, whatever it is. But you're about to get paid for whatever the fuck you're doing. So make it worth your while. Like, treat it like a job right now and maybe it will become one later. True. Yeah. Okay.